So here in London, Heathrow, basically one more flight. Been here for three hours. One more flight to go, almost there. So here in London, Heathrow, basically one more flight. Been here for three hours. One more flight to go, almost there. See Ross McDonald brought the sun Australian sunshine for you here in Scotland. So I arrived in Edinburgh in Scotland and I the first two people I see are Australians. What's up with that? <laughs> At least we got Australian weather today though, yeah. it's awesome. Kind of, yeah. Well, it's sunny. No, it's better than Sydney right now. Finally got to Edinburgh, Scotland. First time here, really excited. Time to unpack, dinner to get to. But uh, before I do that, I might need a bit of a snooze. So I got something special to wear tomorrow night. God, this thing is heavy. It's gonna be an interesting night. When I was getting on the flight from London to Edinburgh today, the person in front of me was is John Paul Dejaria. Really interesting guy. I recognized him, I couldn't figure out who he was, but I knew he was someone famous. And lo and behold, I, I remembered when I got off the plane, I was able to shook hands with him. For those of you who don't know who he is, he's actually the co-founder of Paul Mitchell. And uh, so I got a chance to shake hands with him and meet him at the end. Uh, I actually bumped him you know, after we got after we landed in Scotland. It was really great to, to, to meet someone like that. Um, that's the second billionaire uh, that, I, that I've actually met in, in less than 10 days. You know, he's got an incredible story, uh, a story where he was uh, homeless at one point uh, in California and had $700 in his pocket. And they started Paul Mitchell uh, with $700, basically built that into a billion dollar company. And then he goes on and starts another billion dollar company in a totally different industry. His net worth is like three to four billion dollars. And now he's doing a lot of philanthropy work. What amazes me about the, the two billionaires that I met um, in the last 10 days is that both of them are pretty humble. You would never even know that they are billionaires. They don't flat, they're not flat about it uh, but more importantly they actually have a purpose let's face it like these guys don't actually have to work anymore if they don't choose not to they're going for something they're going for growth they're going for something in their life they're, they're definitely not choosing money it's admirable i'm sure they have their flaws as well but at the end of the day it's just that it's great to be able to see people um, continue striving and to me it's about understanding the human growth of, of just growing for the sake of growing not for the sake of money for the pursuit of money but the pursuit of being a better person and knowing who they are in this world what they stand for and and trying to figure out how you know what they mean to this world i think that's the key to human growth and human learning this is what i believe that we're meant to do is to live this human experience to continue to look for the growth within us this is what i imagine what scotland would look like right beside the hotel this is pretty awesome glad i got some rest walked around a little bit I'm ready for tonight's founder's dinner this is what I miss about uh, being the Northern Hemisphere. It's actually 9.45 and look, it's still bright. I love this.